<laughs> All right, you got 50 grand. Yeah. Okay. Do you invest it in crypto? Do you invest it in stock? Do you invest it in real estate with the leverage? I'm, I'm real estate 100%. Mm -hmm. For me, I think it's like if I was to build out a portfolio similar to building a house, would I think about what color are the taps going to be in the bathroom or am I getting the slab done? The slab is real estate for me. So for me, I need everything in terms of my majority of my wealth needs to be in something I know works and will work over a long term. And then the little cherry on top can be your cryptos, your NFTs or whatever else. And the thing is, it's important to know that you can stay in crypto mm. and to sell when there is a bit of hype. And I'll use that money and I'll come back into real estate. Mm. So that's how I would operate. Mm. What would you guys do? Yeah, 100%. I, I totally agree. And I think putting in that context about like a portion of your portfolio, like put it so, okay if you told me i just had 50 grand i probably wouldn't touch crypto it's like yeah you know and and this is the problem i think a lot of people say oh i got 50 but i could have 100 and end up just losing the whole 50. it's like you could have <laughs> bought a property with that 50 yeah. right mm -hmm. um so 100 agree like you got to be responsible first before you start taking swings especially when you don't know what the hell you're talking about when it yeah. comes to crypto you're just listening to some guy on twitter and you just send it one of yep. the biggest <laughs> one of the biggest mistakes people make is it's death by a thousand cuts so they 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 don't yeah. save enough. They don't build up a war chest before they make that one big swing. Mm -hmm. And they just little pieces. I'm going to put this in crypto. I'm going to put this in the stock market. And then you lose a little bit and you just keep selling and you're just paddling water for no reason. Mm -hmm. So save up money, invest in something that's real. That's your advice? Yeah, well, I can't give financial advice, but I mean, I can give logical advice, which is the higher the risk, you're hoping for a higher return. Mm -hmm. And right now, everyone's looking for the home run. Mm -hmm. They just accumulate. You know, accumulate the the stuff that works, build and don't look at this as how can I retire in one year? You, bro, you signed up for 40 years to work. Mm. So if you can retire in 15 years, you won. 100%, and yeah. if you can build something in 15 years, you could do that quite well. Mm. If you do the right thing, have a side hustle, work your nine to five, whatever it is, um, and then invest the right way, whether it's, you know, stocks, ETFs and, and real estate. Yeah. Back to business. Oh, yeah. Um, I like crypto I, topic, man. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm done with it. <laughs> um, you, you might get some views, mate. People think you're a crypto channel. <laughs> um, how, how many staff do you have? At the moment, we're actually quite small team. So probably about six people. Can you share what you're turning over? Roughly? Per oh, month? I wouldn't know. I'd have, look. I'd have to look. Um, uh, three mil a year. What's three that? Three mil a year. 300k, a bit under 250. per month. 250. Nice, man. we six people team. Yeah, it's good, That's huh? Phenomenal. That's phenomenal. Yeah. incredible. Thanks, guys. You must have really good margins. <laughs> <laughs> You've only got six staff members. <laughs> right. Yeah, okay. They get so, paid well, mate. So, they get paid well. So, so how do we solve this supply issue? Let's solve in the last five to 10 minutes with Ravi. Let's solve the supply issue question. Is it a, just a question on the supply issue? Is it a function of how selective you are with the properties? You're obviously... You like within that three to five hundred k window, you may be able to get something, but deep down, you're like, I wouldn't buy that myself, Correct. so I'm not going to pass it on to a client. Yeah, yeah. So there's a very selective approach that you have, right? Correct. Which limits your window or limits the the stock. That yeah. You Look, it's, much... it would be an easy fix if I wanted to go and two x the business tomorrow, like overnight. I know how to do it, which is let's just open up the parameters for what we look at in terms of property. Well, why don't you? Because then that's going to fall back on us in six months' time when those properties don't perform. And then ethically, I'm going to be like, hold up. I didn't do the right thing here. Mm. I just wanted to maximize my profits. Whereas I want to stick to what works and has the highest probability of growing and delivering results for clients. Because then that in turn will grow the business more sustainably. But I'm happy with those numbers. I'm going yeah. to challenge you on that. I feel, yep. like, I feel like you might be thinking too small. Um, there's, you can do it successfully and serve a lot more people. Mm. Okay, sure, the yield doesn't have to be whatever percentage that you offer. You just lower the benchmark of what you say the returns are going to be. Mm. And that could open up the whole market to you ethically. Yep. You're doing it the right way. Yep. You're not selling such a massive dream and you, mm. you're being more realistic. But you're opening up the funnel. Because I feel like if you're not doing any Google ads, if you're not doing any paid search, if you're not on social media doing paid traffic, mate, it's there's an opportunity cost associated to that. And mm. you're killing it right now. I don't, if, if you have the, the operational... Uh, ability to actually process them mm -hmm. um, and you open up the supply then you know it just makes sense uh, I, what am i missing yeah so is, is your point um be transparent with the clients to say hey this is most of my properties that i've been talking about are doing 10 percent uh, or you know 15 percent. i think this one might do eight seven or eight if you're comfortable with it and maybe adjust the fees accordingly correct something like two that tiers. two tiers two hey, tiers and this is what we this is what we uh expect in this 
this, uh, you know, arm of the business. And then for people that are sort of want to test this out with the first one, here's a, here's a second secondary option at a mm. cheaper rate so that you can, you, that problem gets solved. And now you're no longer saying I'm comfortable because I don't want to let that up on like, you know, the standards. Yep. Let up on the standards, but let them know and say it's a second tier product, yeah. essentially. Yeah, I'm sure you, th have you thought about that approach? I've never or... thought about that. Boom. Boom. 10x the business. Right? <laughs> 10x, 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 
because they love you and care for you or whatever, but they mm. still might be holding you back because they don't understand how that world works. So true. That's so you've got to get the right people mm-hmm. around you. Uh, and then I think finally it's, uh, you know, don't look for <laughs> 10X. 10X, baby. <laughs> it's, it's not about how do I retire in one year? Because mm. you, you take shortcuts in anything, most likely you're going to lose. Or you're mm. taking so much more risk, which sets you back five, six years if it doesn't work out. So for me, I go build, accumulate for the next five years and then you can afford to take a little more risk and one of those out of the five risks or avenues that you take, one of them will work out and then you start exponentially growing. That's how I would do it. Mm. Yeah, I, I, think, I think a lot of people uh, forget, like, you know, everyone says, you know, it's the tortoise or the hare. I think oh, yeah. it's, not, it's not one strategy. It's not like, you know, oh yeah, I'm looking for that quick win. I want to be the hare. No, you've got to be both. You've mm. got to have a long-term view of things, but then you've got to hustle day in and day out and keep applying to yourself. You're not a candle. You're not going to fucking burn out. Mm. Just keep keep applying. And, and I watched I watched the video. I watched that the video. should be the book like title of your book. <laughs> You're not, not a candle. candle. You're not a fucking <laughs> candle. <laughs> uh, it was. Uh, I, I'm not going to mention who who uh, did the video, but there's another video where it says <clears throat> when you're winning in life, um, you can take take the punches and you never feel burnt out. It's when you're losing in life that you feel worn down Mm -hmm. and worn out. So look for success first. um, And as long as you keep finding success, you won't burn out uh, and you can keep pushing yourself further and further to the point where you can 10x, baby. Boom. 10x. (laughs) (laughs) All right, pleasure having you. Love it. Hey, guys, if you enjoyed that short clip from the podcast, feel free to watch more of them by clicking here. And if you want the full podcast, click here.